after having discussed the types of sets let us come to a new concept called the the subsets of a set right so we come to the subsets fine now let me proceed first of all with an example then we'll go to the formal definition the if if suppose there is a if suppose there is a so let us proceed with an example let's say i have a set a with these elements right this has to be a proper brace so say 1 2 5 7 and and b is another set say 7 2 1 3 9 5 okay now let us say i am supposed to check whether a is a subset of b whether a is a subset of b this is the question in front of us now to do that to do that what we do we go to the set a right we go to the set which is supposed to be the subset of b so we first go to a and 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 see one of those elements so so that is one now i go on a search on a lookout in set b for that element does that exist somewhere here yes it does i go to a again look for another element 2 is that somewhere here yes it is here 2 i go to the third element 5 is that somewhere here yes i go to the fourth element 7 is it somewhere here yes it is there our job is so so we'll say that yes a is a subset of b okay so what have we done basically to find whether a set is a subset of another set is to is to check for each element which is being qualified for for subset and go to that set and check whether go to the other set whose subset we are saying that this set is so so what so what have we done so what are we supposed yes a is a subset of b so what what do we do actually is is to go to set a okay the the set that is being qualified to become the subset we go to that check each of its elements whether they belong to that set whose subset we say this is being qualified for right if all these elements all the elements of of this this set in in this case set a they belong to set b then a will be said to be a subset of b okay and it is denoted as this okay okay now based on this we come to the formal definition of the subset okay so so what what is the definition the definition is that a, a set a is said to be the subset to be the subset of set b if every element of set a of set a belongs to set b right it belongs to 
set B. If A is a subset of set B, if A is a subset of set B, then it is denoted as then it is then then it is then it is denoted as a is a subset of b okay so in terms of notation <coughs> we say that a is subset of B if if for all this stands for for all okay this stands for for all for all a belonging to a okay for all the elements a which belong to the set A we have A belonging to B as well okay this is the notational definition of of a subset right okay or or instead of writing we have we, 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 we can we can replace it by another mathematical notation okay we can say that we can we can say say that if for all a belong for, for all a belonging to a it implies that a belongs to b right fine now let's let's come to this definition the definition in mathematics is absolutely precise okay so so i see at times there are there is a confusion whether 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 there should be any more element in b yes that is allowed so for example the element the element 3 here right the element 3 here and and the element 9 here they do not belong to a right they are extra but it the, the definition itself is absolutely silent about it it does not even say whether the set b has exactly the same elements and no more or or these elements of a belong to b and there are some more right now now that leads to an interesting case and and, and that is what if I have I have the same set? What if I have the same set? What, what, what do we mean is is let us say I have a set which is given like this or, or, or let's come back to this. So I have a set which is like this and there is another set which is which is say right now by the definition of the equality of sets we know that these two sets are equal right these two sets are equal so so i have a is equal to c fine now let us say someone asks me to compare between a and c whether okay is a a subset of c okay a subset of c 
is that possible you you should be slightly aware because the sign of of the subset right the sign of the subset and and c they they almost look the same so so the sign of the subset is actually kind of this right this is the sign but at times while writing we we kind of tend to write it as a c right as i did right now so this is c and this is the symbol for for the subset so is that so so what do i do i again start with the same same mechanism i i pick up one element here and 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 see that it does exist here i pick up another element here two that exists here i pick up the third element five that also exists here i pick up seven that also exists here okay so yes a the answer is yes a is indeed a subset of c now that leads us to to a strange thing what these two sets are also equal to each other that means every set is a subset of itself right so 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 we come to the conclusion that that every set every set is a subset of itself is a subset of itself right so we can say that a set a is a subset of itself each set is a subset of itself right now now let us come to some well known subsets right let me let me erase this so so let me come to some well known subsets let us say say the set of rational numbers okay is it a subset of real numbers yes, sir. the rational numbers is it a subset of real numbers the answer is yes okay because real numbers consists of the rational numbers as well as the irrational numbers right so it is indeed a subset of that is the is the natural number a subset of the rational numbers yes it is because because natural a uh, 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 rational number is a number that can be expressed as p upon q yeah. where p and q are both integers yeah. right so yeah. and here the 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 natural numbers okay they they are a subset of rational numbers because because let's pick up a, a, a natural number say 1 One can be expressed as one upon one, right? Two can be expressed as two upon one, or 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 also alternately as four upon two, right? So it is indeed a a rational number, right? So this this holds good. Is 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 the natural number a subset of integers? Yes. The answer is again yes. yes. Okay. Why? Because because integers are. My, uh, Dot 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 minus three minus one minus two zero one two three dot 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 till infinity, right? So 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 they are indeed a subset of this. Is whole number a subset of natural numbers? No, because whole number has one element zero, which 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 the natural number does not have, right? Sir, other numbers are also present. Yes, other numbers are also present. Yeah? in whole numbers yeah. no in whole numbers you have 0 1 0 and all the natural numbers right and and natural number is like 1 2 3 so except 0 there can be subset of both no, th then that is that is okay if if you if you remove 0 from this this actually becomes natural number set of natural numbers if you remove 0 from the set of whole numbers it actually becomes natural number right so 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 we can compare those 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 sets the conventional sets that we know about right so 
is irrational number the set of irrational numbers is denoted as this is this a subset of a rational number the answer is no they cannot be an irrational number is quite different from a rational number because first of all it cannot be expressed as p upon q right okay let's take another example let there be b sets there is a null set there is a set a which has say these elements there is a set b which has these elements okay there is a set c which has there is a set c which has these elements okay and there are certain fill in the blanks and we have to put in okay fill the blanks with this or this when when we say that uh, let me write that when when a is not a subset of not a subset of b okay okay we denote it as we denote it as a the sign of the subset and then we cross it saying that it is not a subset okay so i can say here that 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 t is not a subset of q get that we can also say that 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 here that the set of whole numbers is not a subset of natural numbers do we get that okay so we have to fill in the blanks with with either it is a subset or it is not a subset right now let me also tell you as i go ahead that null set is always considered a subset of all the sets right so so null set null set is always a subset of all the sets okay it is a subset of all the sets fine now let us let us try to fill in the blanks so the first one is phi dash okay the blank and b the second one is a blank b third one the third one is a blank c the fourth one is b a subset of c okay now is is phi a subset of b yes, yes. because because null set is always a subset of all the sets so yes this is a a subset of b no no so we'll put this why because there is a number 3 here that that is not present in in set b right is a a subset of c yes yes 1 3 both are present here so it is a subset of c 
159 is it a subset of c yes, yes it is a subset of c because 159 1 5 and 9 1, 5, and 9. All the three are present in, in B as well as C. So B is indeed a subset of C. Fine. 